welcome to day 14 of our 21 day yoga challenge. Thankful that you have arrived on your mat yet again today. Let's get started with our practice. So closing your eyes, coming into the simple seated posture that you have come to know so well over the last couple of weeks. And dropping the shoulders down the back and lengthening the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Turning the palms to face the sky as you settle into the quiet of this moment. Softening the space between the eyes, the outer edges of your tongue. The eyes beneath the eyelids. made the commitment to practice yoga for 20 minutes today. So hold true with this commitment as you sit quietly with the breath. As you begin to learn to enjoy stillness. Simply noticing the thoughts as they move in and out of your mind. Not trying to change anything. Not even really trying to change the fact that you're thinking. Simply observing the fact that you're thinking. And allow the thoughts to flow in and out. Sitting here in silence together for the next few moments. Drop the shoulders down the back, crown of the head reaches for the ceiling. Sit boats, bones root down into the mat. And now take a moment to reflect on how you've shifted throughout the last couple of weeks. 
Take a moment to notice any changes, even large or small changes that have occurred for you since you began practicing yoga on a regular basis. And let these thoughts float in and out of your mind. Now draw the palms together and set an intention. Set an intention for today's practice and also for the remainder of this 21 day challenge. Set your intention now. opening the eyes up into the room, untying the legs, coming into table pose for a moment. And we move through cat and cow, not unlike how we often start our practice together. Taking these next couple of moments to prepare the spine for the asanas, for the moving practice, for the postures. Eyes open or closed, your choice. Back to table pose. Open the eyes if they were closed and step back into downward facing dog. As you become more accustomed to the postures in yoga, you can begin to dive deeper into the grace of the movement. Moving intuitively and with intention. Come to the tips of the toes, drop the hip points down towards the floor, gaze up towards the sky. Press back, downward facing dog. forward into plank, drop down chaturanga, upward facing dog, root back through the heels, press the hip points down towards the floor. And now back, downward facing dog. Dropping down onto your knees, pivot the left leg out, extend the right leg, and lift the right fingertips up towards the sky. Lastly, lift that right foot up off of the floor. Half moon at the floor. Draw the navel back towards the spine. And we'll pivot through center. Place that right hand down on the floor, pivot the right foot out, extend the left leg, left fingertips to the sky, and lastly, lift that left foot up off of the floor. And place the hand down on the floor and the opposite knee, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. You will get out of your practice what you put into it. This is your practice. Bring the left foot forward and drop the right knee. All 10 fingertips rise up. As they reach up for the ceiling, lift the back knee up off of the floor. Crescent pose. Open up into warrior two, reaching forward and back. Navel draws back towards the spine. Shoulders drop down the back. Intense side angle pose. Fingers hover above the floor as you gaze up towards the ceiling. Left fingertips reach down towards the floor, right fingertips to the sky. Electrify the posture, so spread the fingers away from one another here. And now all 10 fingertips down to the floor, lengthen through the front leg, round the back up towards the sky, then settle into your forward fold. Pivot the back foot 
and bend the right knee. Rise up for crescent pose. Arms come down by your sides. As they do, drop that back knee and lift the fingertips up towards the sky. Low lunge, low crescent. Hands come down to the floor. High lunge to plank pose. Top of a push up. Drop down chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Sink back. <clears throat> Everything takes practice. Everything takes time. Right foot forward, low lunge, lift the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Lift the back knee off of the floor. Open up into warrior two, reaching forward and back. Drop the shoulders down the back and tuck the tail. Intense side angle pose, dropping down, gaze up towards the ceiling. Press that right elbow into the knee as you open up the hips here. Gaze up towards the ceiling again, electrify the posture. All 10 fingertips moving away from one another. And now bring the hands down to the floor, round the back, just like before. Create some space, lengthen through the front leg, and then fold. Pivot the back foot, bend the front knee, find the grace, and lift. Crescent. Arms come down by your sides. Drop that back knee and lift the gaze. Lift the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Moving with intention, feeling in the body, being aware. Getting stronger every day. Hands come down to the floor. <clears throat> Rise, lift that back knee up off of the floor. High lunge. And step back, plank. Top of a push up. Drop down, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Resituate yourself. Walk the hands to the center of the mat and the feet to the center of the mat. Fold. Bring the hands back behind the legs. Folding deeper. And hands come to the hips. Rise up like a hinge. Preparing for our balance posture. <clears throat> Make sure you have enough space in your room for this. Gaze towards the front of the mat, somewhere on the floor. And we're going to balance first on the left leg. So take the right heel in towards your glute, in towards your butt, and grab the foot. Find the breath, the gaze point, the balance. And now as you fold forward, kick that foot back into the hand and extend the left um, arm. Folding as far forward as what works for you and coming out. Right foot balances. Build, take time to build your posture. So bring the left heel in towards your butt. Take the foot anywhere you wish into the hand. That's not the important part right now. We're Practicing this posture for the first time together in this challenge. So that gaze point important for the balance. Begin to fold. Kick the foot into the hand. So you have this dual movement. The arm is extending back behind you. And the opposite arm forward. And coming up. Inhale, upward facing salute. Palms together at the heart. And fold. Impact the chin and roll up. We'll practice our royal dancer one more time. So balance on the left foot first. 
palms together at your heart. Let's move into this super mindfully. Gaze point strong somewhere out in front of you. Moving with intention, mindfulness. Take the right foot into the right hand. Draw the navel back towards the spine. Lift the left fingertips up towards the sky and then begin to fold. So those left fingertips reaching directly forward now. Soften that left knee to standing knee. And release. Gaze point. Strong right leg. Left foot kicks back. Right fingertips up towards the ceiling and then begin the fold. Use the big muscle groups, the legs, the glutes. And release. Soul the foot comes to the floor. Inhale. And exhale, bow. Walk your way back into downward facing dog, our final dog for this session. Lengthening the spine. And we'll take the left foot forward, prayer twist towards the bent knee, hook the right elbow on that left knee. Gaze beyond the upper elbow now as you're twisting the spine, the internal organs. Hands come down to the floor. We'll step to switch. Build the twist. Elbow to knee, palms together. Take the gaze back towards the back of the room. Beyond that upper elbow. twist. Back to plank. Last upward facing dog. Drop the knees. Press back into child's pose. <clears throat> Curling up and making your way to Shavasana, fully reclining on your mat. We've taken our twist. So now situate yourself, move the soft parts of the sit bones out of the way, and release the feet. Soften the center of the palms of your hands and your face.
wiggling the fingers and the toes. Take a full body stretch, reaching the arms overhead, pointing the toes, then reaching through the heels. Back and forth here for a moment. And now rolling to your right side. And pressing up into seated. Thank you, a million thank yous for practicing yoga today. Hope you have a wonderful day, wonderful evening. Namaste.